Last episode of Danmachi is probably one of my favorite, favorite episodes of Danmachi. Because we've been just, it's just been so serious and heavy. Season 3, Season 4, like, weenie stuff, and then, you know, the whole, like, Abyss of the Dungeon stuff. It's just, like, way too dire. And finally, we're getting more of, like, the slice of life elements. And it was peak comedy. Hedin taught us how to just be the best, you know, uh, gentleman possible for a date. There were so many funny moments, even with Cassandra, with, like, you know, the super nice sandwich. And then, uh, we're at the Goddess Festival. Unfortunately, Ryu's getting cucked and she's watching it all happen. Seer is on a date with Belle and Belle is just so professional, but Seer doesn't like it. Because Seer wanted to go on a date where she's in the lead. Because Belle is this, like, you know, cute little submissive boy that the girls kind of want to tease. But he's just being too good. And she's like, what the fuck's going on? This is not what I imagined. Um, at the end of the last episode, what happened? Is Seer said, like, please kidnap me. So, again... Seer doesn't want to be confined to the shackles of her goddesshood. What does that mean? It sounded like she's a fucking goddess. Why is she associated with Freya, though? Why is there so much importance with Freya and Seer? What kind of goddess, if she's a goddess, is she? And if we just kidnap her, do you think Freya family is just gonna let it slide? Let's begin today's reaction. Where do we go? You wanna join my party? I feel like if I did that, Hedin would kill us. Older partner is today's title. This is all Freya's minions. And this guy's pretty important. Hestia. Yep. She just found him. Around the corner. I forgot how supreme Eyes, Valence, whatever her name is. The side boob. Oh my god. This outfit is crazy. That extra line that just peeks out here from JC staff is just... Uh oh. Oh. They will not allow. The date must continue. Luggage. Are they getting to run away? They're packing to run away. Uh, okay, okay. Damn, they're so prepared with this shit. No. Jesus fucking Christ, he's so angry. Oh no, I haven't heard that since like Gilgamesh, bro. This little pipsqueak. <laughs> the cat girl's fine. I love how everybody is so invested into this date right now. It's not just like Freya's group either. Like all the bar tavern girls literally just fucked off too. Everyone is watching Ice and Hestia too. <laughs> Ice, do you know what's going on? Dude, the soundtrack is so epic. Oh, we have a magic cloak. Invisible cloak. Uh-oh. Squee, I love this. I think that... I don't know. It feels like she's just living her fantasy right now, right? I wonder if she truly believes that she can get away. But it just feels like this is like the fantasy that she's always dreamed of. Like someone taken away, getting away from the responsibilities of goddesshood. He's having a lot of fun. Ooh. <laughs> that jump was pretty funny. <laughs> so cool. You're the girl. Don't you dare blush. Oh, bro. It would have been so diabolical if this girl blushed right now at Belle. <laughs> while they were on a date at the same time. Seer's having so much fun. Don't you realize what kind of fucked up situation we're in, though? I think she does know. Okay. Well, we made her happy. That was the goal. Where are we at? I have no clue where we are. Cathedral. Who's in the cathedral? Birch people? I don't know. I'm, I've... What the hell? Christine Chapel looking nice, but this looks like Belle. 
the painting in the top of the church right over here. This really does look like Bell. And then there's a girl. Wonder if this is supposed to mirror these two right now. Blue hair, huh? <laughs> Who's that goddess? <laughs> Who's? Is our corpse in there? <laughs> Remains of a spirit. <laughs> yeah, maybe... It, maybe, like, um... Does this have to do with that side story, what Ice is up to? Is that an OVA or is that like a fucking uh, movie shit? I don't know, but this painting at the top, that looks like very, very important. This is a spirit though, but the archives of the remains of an Undyne have been kept safe here for thousands of years. Undyne, huh? Can we then assume that the blue girl that we see in the painting is the Undyne? <laughs> No one can open it. It's just bones in there? What is it? Hero mentioned. Night and a spirit. This is game content? That much of game content? Oh Oh no, it's a love triangle! The Undying Spirit! She got cucked by a sister of the sainthood. There's like a church girl. What does she look like? Wah, wah. The spirit lost, man. She got cucked. <laughs> Spirit's a fucking yandere. Okay, okay. He killed her. I don't know. She saved him? Alright. It was like, love story, got cucked, yandere, but sacrificed herself with monsters attacks, so she redeems herself by the end. Even the girl, the saint girl is crying. I wonder how this story will parallel Belle and the characters that exist in this show. Do you think Seer is supposed to represent the Undyne or the Saints? Is I supposed to be one of those girls? But there's only two girls here and there's so many fucking girls, but maybe it's Seer and someone else. Maybe Seer and Freya. Uh, maybe. It could be Seer and Freya and Belle is the, you know, full, uh, full under some shit. Alright, don't fuck up, Belle. It's a message for you. Or another church should be made. <laughs> What was the point you're trying to make with all this? It's not for you guys, it's for us. <laughs> it's exposition for the audience to give a mythological heroic tale that's gonna parallel the events that's gonna happen with Bell and Seer probably. <laughs> you mean crazy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a flag. <laughs> I'll probably kill you. I don't know. <laughs> I'd save you? I'd figure out a way to save you. What a hero. You wanna get punished? <laughs> the fuck? Naughty little minx. I'm gonna take charge of you so that you can't get into trouble more trouble. Brace your- Oh my god, she's got these fantasies made up in her head. I know that she has, you know, crazy stories and like, you know, fairy tales of like, you know, trying to escape and be kidnapped, but like, this is, Jesus Christ, what else do you got fucking clammed up? She wants the ASMR treatment from Belle. Bro, the voice acting changed, did you hear that? And then, de. I'm making a big ruckus in here. Maybe a bit too kind. How many more signals can she make to you, Belle, till you realize that she loves you? I wonder if Seer is gonna be the Undyne. A at this point, it looks like it's being set up that way, and Freya's gonna be the other girl, right? And Seer's saying, what would you do if I went crazy? The Undyne kind of went crazy, right? But ended up sacrificing. So is she gonna die? But Bell, the difference with Bell is that he is a hero and he even though the impossible happens and you're only given two choices he'll just take both right he's always done that so i'm sure like maybe the story will follow that path but bell will figure out a way to save everybody and get every girl no matter what <laughs> oh, dinner reservations 
fanciest restaurant? She gone. Gotta get that bag. Gotta use this sad mythological tale to make some fucking money, baby. Uh huh. Hustle. She's taking this so seriously. Siri is so cute. Look how determined she looks. She even making sound effects. Darling. All right. We're matching. 100% there's gonna be a moment when like Seer is like taken away or something bad happens and this will get dropped and it'll snap in half. Like it's supposed to like be like a symbolism or like a little flag of like yeah you remember it's all good right now when bad things happen it'll fucking break. Oh never mind. We're gonna give one to one. Never mind. Little hair piece. Are we gonna put it on too? Bell's not putting his on. Yo Bell. I don't think this is a good idea. I'm going to treasure it forever. I don't think so. I think something bad's going to happen. Something terrible is going to happen with this shit, bro. I genuinely can't remember a time when we go shopping and we pick out like a nice little like present or something and it didn't turn out bad. Like, I'll, I, I remember the Frieden example too. In Frieden episode, like that same shit happened. We bought like an important gift and it was like a bad thing at the end. Like, like. Shit like this is just straight up telling us that when bad things happen, like this will be basically just like a confirmation that it'll break or something. What? <laughs> Come on. More feeling. Say it with more feeling. <laughs> so bossy. Damn, our restaurant's in a fucking ship? We got a fancy ass yacht restaurant? Super fancy. The house has to stain on her hair. I didn't. Heading did. Surely something bad won't happen on this boat. Okay. Damn. We kind of had this for prom in high school. My prom after my prom was on like a yacht. They're definitely on the boat. This guy serving the wine is definitely Freya family. You know they've infiltrated. Oh, Bestia. Ice. They're all here. They're all here. The cat girls too. The cats are... Everybody is here. Like Hestia Ice is here. The tavern girls are all here. And Freya group is already here. Everything is set up. Damn, I just look really nice there. Oh my god, look at that outfit. Holy shit. This low-key kind of reminds me of Freya because of the arm stuff, right? Yep, tapping back car cat girls. We're under watch. How did they know? Ice is such a glutton. How are they affording all this shit? Are they broke? Yeah, I think there's something interesting there too. With like, um, Hestia not still being able to see Seer's face intentionally, right? Because like, again, the whole goddess stuff, the identity, if Hestia was to see, then she could be like, Hey, you, I know who you are, right? 100% they're hiding that shit. Hmm. Ice. Hmm. This look from her. I feel kind of really bad. I feel like she's really terrible. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, are you just realizing you're getting cucked? Come on, girl. You don't even know what happened with Ryu last season. And you were like the antagonist against the Wine season. Like, and then the Haruhime shit. Ice has been cucked since a long time ago. It's been like four seasons in the fucking making, bro. She was there for season one and kind of fucked off. <laughs> or, or, Ice actually isn't sad. Ice is not sad. And she's actually just looking at the food. She's looking at the food and being jealous of, wow, there's so much, you know, steak there. I wish I was there instead. I, I feel like that's so on brand for someone like Ice, but it probably is the jealousy here with the girl. How do they fucking get a job here after leaving the tavern, bro? Exactly! They, they, they literally dropped. They bailed out on Mamma Mia. And they're just fucking working another job on a ship. 
シルたちのディナーに潜り込むにはこれしかなかったにゃー。リュウ。Oh no, リュウ。How is it possible for this many girls to get cocked at the same time of one day? Esti is getting cucked. Ice is getting cucked. Ryu is getting cucked. You know,、uh, like you could basically say all the Freya's families have set up bail that they're taking Sierra to. Freya's pretty much getting cucked to everybody. Everybody. No dialogue. We're gonna have a little bit of a fancy music playing with like a montage scene. They're still eating. Holy shit. Mm. Are you? And what's that relationship, girl? Hell no. But the bet was literally hey, Frey was like, listen, you can go on a date, but if your identity gets leaked, it's over for you. That was the deal, right? Is she betting on that Frey will never find this out? <laughs> You can't tell. Wow. Actually, that's kind of bad. That means that it's just going to be a platonic relationship and there's not going to be anything intimate. Ice. Freya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. t h a t super angry kid again. He just has so much like short man syndrome. <laughs> Five foot nothing kid just so angry all the fucking time. <laughs> Reclaim her from the horny rabbit? Bro, what do you mean? <laughs> Ruining everyone's dates, man? This is terrible. What a bunch of meanies. Eliminate? Oh, I. He, he acknowledges the sword princess. Yo, what the fuck? She had a. Damn. She was strapped, ready to fucking go. Let's go, Ice. You dual wheels, huh? That's so aggressive. <laughs> Look at s t s titties, bro. This <laughs> is just on the fucking floor. Yeah, it's ice. They're after you, horny rabbit. We're gonna jump off the ship? Oh, she knew. Yeah, of course she fucking knew. She calls up for Ryu immediately. Let's go, Tavern Girls. Yo, I hope that Mama Mia shows up too. I wanna see Mama Mia in action. Oh. Let's go, Cat Girls. Yeah. Yup. The girls got her back. Are <laughs> you blushing? Just peak slice of life! Peak! That's the most emotion I've seen from Ryu. What are we doing? We're jumping in the water? You're gonna catch? You want. Crazy bitch. She knew that he would jump off the same. This is still everything. Sierra's just like, you know what? This is one of my fantasies too. I just wanna get dropped, you know, jumped on something and have a knight just like save me. Whoa. That's the most realistic water splash I've ever seen in my life. That was so real that the 2D, I don't think it's bad, but like the contrast of like the 2D and then the like realistic water splash is like, whoa. All right, we're all wet now. What t shirt? She's probably having fun. Yeah, she's having the time of her life. Crazy how her hairpin is still there. Thank God the hairstyle is back. Belle with a different hairstyle is like so weird to me. Ooh. Seer knows that she wet. 
Or tonight she gets to do whatever she wants because this is pretty much like the last minute of like freedom that she's gonna get, I think. If only this night could go on forever. Holding hands. Hero's Bridge. What? Hero's. I don't think I've been here before. These are all like the past heroes that existed in Orario. Al Who the fuck is Albert? Black Dragon. Okay, this is really, really important. The Black Dragon and Ice. That plot line, right? The shit that we got at the end of season two just for a bit. That seems like super, super in-game content. And oh my god, look at the fucking wet t-shirt. You see the bra outline from the water shit? That's fucking crazy. But Albert, he is the one that drove the Black Dragon away. Okay. Kind of looks like Bell. Because... He alone remains unparalleled under the heavens. There is no other great hero like him ever, and he's the last hero. But didn't Apollo or Hermes, yeah, Hermes pretty much said that, like, Bell will be, like, the last hero, right? He was, like, making some kind of, like, claim against Zeus in Season 2. It's gonna be Bell. You know it's gonna be Bell. Yes, and Bell is him, the last final hero. The prophecy. Basically, the end of Danmachi. Yo, you looking at a hero? Her hero? Hmm. That's supposed to be Bell? Title drop. Title drop. Ozu. Her own hero. A hero for herself. A hero that can save her from the shackles of goddesshood. And is Bell gonna be that person? I don't know. Is Seer super, like, um, selfish for wanting this? Is it so bad to want a hero for herself? Something about this feels extremely selfish and, like, very self-centered. But, I mean, she literally has problems and she just wants someone to save her. Now, it'd be cool if she could save herself, but it's not so bad to rely on heroes. And Bell has been set up as this final hero since, like, beginning of, like, season one, right? He is gonna be that person. Hermes is literally saying, like, that's him. That's my boy. But is it right for us to just solve serious problems and for her to just run away? Should she figure it out herself? Maybe we should rely on a hero for a story like this. Also, yeah, it's the whole idea of, like, the Ozer, right? ODR of, like... A hero just for me. That feels like you just want a boyfriend. <laughs> I think a hero is supposed to like save this entire fucking world. You will? The tavern? <laughs> Hotel? Oh, we're doing it. We're, we're, we're doing it. Okay. All right. All right. The series finally in game plan. <laughs> She's doing it. I mean, it's looking like it's... I, I think we're getting baited. I doubt it. Uh, is she going to pounce on the rabbit? Maybe she will. But I, I think that we're being misled to believe something. Obviously, what the fuck is going to happen when we get put into one fucking room with a single bed and she's showering? Clearly, we're about to fuck, but... I think something else will happen. <gasps> and that is another episode of Danmachi. The date continues. It's still funny as fuck. Everybody in the city is pretty much looking out. Well, it's not everybody. It's Tavern Girls, it's Hestian Ice, and the Freya Club, right? And an interesting note to make is that Hestia still hasn't seen Seer seriously. Like, her face-to-face. -face. Why? Because obviously, if she does, she's gonna make a connection and be like, Oh! You're that goddess or something, right? They're really hiding that from us right now. It's kind of funny how Seer knew that the cat girls were all there from the beginning. Seer <laughs> is actually just showing the, so much confidence and 
You just put your balls on the table. She's like, come on, girls. Come on, snap, snap. Fucking save me. And then she's like doing things like, you know, like jumping into the water and saying, I know you're going to save me, Bill. Siri is being extremely selfish. But today is like perhaps the only day that she can be selfish. I think it's very intentional that Siri is, you know, doing all these things to have one final day of just freedom before she has to return to the shackles, right? She's been fantasizing about moments like this, and she even dreams of her own hero, O-D-R, Ozer, right? And that's how they pronounce it, and it's supposed to be a hero for herself, but is a hero really supposed to exist for one person? I think she's looking for a fucking boyfriend, and I think that Belle definitely will be the person that will slay the Black Dragon, and there's the whole plot set up with Ice, and I'm sure by then, Belle and Ice will become reunited, you know, since whenever we fucking left out with the romance ship there, and Seer... I don't know exactly how she's gonna play into this. She's she's pretty funny, right? We also got to know the lore of like the church stuff, like the Undying. So maybe that's some parallels of like Seer going crazy maybe and Belle having to save her from the craziness and Freya might be the other girl that gets Belle. I don't know. Freya's still cooking. Next episode, we might fuck, but most likely we're getting baited. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.